Hello everyone, let's get started with our next tutorial in which I'll be talking about creating schema. So let me connect to the HANA studio. So this is the icon for HANA studio that I have on my desktop. Let me double click on this icon and HANA studio is starting. So this is the perspective that we see when it is connected to the system. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to make sure that we are in the modular perspective here it shows that this is a modular perspective what we can do is just to validate just make sure that everything is closed go to window and click on open perspective and select model okay so this ensures that we are in the modular perspective now let's click on the system this is the hana database that we are working on and here you can see this is catalog you have content there so i'll go into the catalog folder so in catalog you have the authorization you have public synonyms and these are the different schema that is created so in today's topic what we'll do is we will be creating a schema so to create a schema just right click on the catalog folder and click on sql editor okay so the editor has been opened now to create a schema just we need to type create schema and the schema name so let me type it create schema so let's name it as sit test one okay so this is the name of the schema that i am going to create so just to create it you can see the green arrow button to execute this particular SQL statement so let me execute this and at the bottom you can see that the message appears that statement create schema successfully executed so here we are not seeing it so to see that we need to refresh this particular screen okay now you can look for this schema which is test one so this schema has been created now you can see there are no tables there no views there Okay, because we have just created an empty schema so this schema is created under the user id as system so if we don't specify who is going to own this particular schema the, it gets created under the default user id with the system okay so next thing what we'll show see is we'll see how to drop a schema so to drop a schema the command is drop schema and the schema name so let's execute this particular command with the green arrow over here we'll get the message at the bottom that this drop schema has been executed successfully to validate here you can see this is still there but we need to refresh this particular screen so just come on the catalog folder click on refresh okay on refreshing you can see this particular schema is no more there so this is how we will be dropping a schema if we don't need that schema anymore in the system so a schema is basically we are organizing all our development structure all our tables procedures in one particular schema so that is a broader organization of tables and the and the work that is done normally for a particular project okay so next thing is here we saw that this schema gets created the moment you try to create it it gets created in a default schema which is system so how we can ensure that it doesn't get created in system so for that what we'll do is we'll create say we have a test user over here so we will create this under the ownership of the user test so to do so to do that what we'll do is we'll create this schema and we'll just mention that okay to we'll just mention that this scheme create schema test one and we need to specify the ownership so to specify the ownership we'll just mention that this schema is owned by test one okay so if i execute this here the statement is create schema the name of the schema and the ownership which is this particular user which is test one okay let's execute this by pressing this green arrow button over here and here we get the message this user is no more there so the username is test so we'll create it under test okay 
you get the message that this has been executed successfully the use the schema has been created okay let's see this particular schema let me try to refresh this okay let's see do we see this over here no this is under system so what we need to do is we need to log in as that particular user so let's create another user uh, let's log in with that particular user and we will see the schema there so let me go to that particular user and so this is the user that we have is a test user so what I'll do is I will reset the pass define the password for that user okay so I have set the password so let me change the password for this user test okay it says that there we need to have a particular combination so let me give the password as welcome one okay so let me execute this to change the password okay it says that you cannot reuse the password so let me give another password for this okay let me execute this okay now the password has been changed now what I am going to do is I am going to log in this with another user which is test user so I'll type this user here and the password that I just created is welcome to so let me execute this and the moment it is connected with a successful password it will ask for a change of password so let me change the password for it okay so the first time you log in you will be requested for change in password here you can see there is another entry which is created hn3 test so this is with the test user okay now let's see whether our schema is here so we have created schema called test1 we can see this particular schema has been created here okay so we have not defined any tables or anything in that particular schema so this is an empty schema okay and we have just seen that how to connect using that particular schema and go to that particular schema and all the work you are doing will be on this particular schema itself okay thanks everyone that's what i wanted to cover in this particular session which was how to create a schema in sap hana using hana studio thanks everyone